Hi all, my name is Stephen Thomas and today I'm going to show you how to make a face mask. Yes, who needs to rely on shopboard face masks? You know, these little dinky things, they're such rubbish. I, you know, they, they leak. And if you're going to trust your life to it, you don't want air leaking down the sides of these little things that are meant that hardly work at all. I've got one of those type and I've got one of this type, yeah. But they, they leak down the sides here. And then, if you're a doomsday prepper, then you've got one of these bad boys. Look at that. Ah. Doesn't that look like Darth Vader? That's just the look I'm going for. No, so we're going to make our own face marks in case you can't get hold of them or in case you want a better one. I think it's a better one. You, you judge for yourself. So what you're going to need is a milk bottle and five minutes. Have you got a milk bottle and five minutes worth? Isn't that worth saving your life? Now on the milk bottle, you'll notice it's got a line down there, the bottom. So I'm just going to cut all the way along that line. I'm timing myself, I'm thinking I can make this face mask in under, under five minutes. Okay, so we're cutting, cutting, cutting. There we go. Whoops. What man says whoops. Okay. So, there's our... There's our milk bottom. Now, <clears throat> unlike the commercial ones which don't sort of fit snugly, do this. You can feel that suction. That is really sticking. It's holding onto my face. It's holding onto my face like crazy. So I'm just going to cut a tiny little bit off. You see this line? I'm going to keep this line horizontal. That's the bottom of the milk bottle. And just where my nose is, not that I have such a big nose, but just to make it a little bit more comfortable, I cut a tiny little bit of a notch out for my nose because I know from experience so um, if I can get something to show, um, yeah, there's a book. I've just cut out a little bit of a notch there, over there, for my nose. And um, it just relieves the pressure just a little bit. Right, so now we've got our basic face mask. Now you take a circular lid. There's the lid of the milk bottle. And you're going to draw a circle, which you're going to cut out. So I go around the lid, and I'm going to then cut that out. That's to let the air in. So there's my little circle. Take my dinky little scissors. Spare no expense here. Little nail scissors. And we're going to cut out around that circle. And that's, as I say, to let our air in. So the coronavirus is spread by droplets. And these face masks and hand washing are the, the two things that they really recommend that you can do to help yourself to not get it. Okay, so there I've cut out my circle. Now on, like I say, these bends in the bottom of the milk bottle, you're going to need place for your two elastics. So you take again a scissor, I've got a slightly bigger scissors this time, and I'm going to poke it through. And that's to put my elastic band that's going to go around the ears. There's the one hole. Do it the same on the other side. There's the other hole. Make it big enough so that you can easily stick your elastic bands through. And there's the two holes. Right, so now we grab an elastic band. Well, I'm going to have to get it from my other face mask that I've made because I have a limited number of elastic bands. There's one elastic band. I've got a more face mask than elastic bands at the moment. So there's your two elastic bands. And you're going to take it and you push the elastic band through the hole which you've made. Bring it out through the main hole. Push that through the elastic band again, pull it tight, and there's there it's pulled tight. 
and then you're going to do the same on the other side so again you're going to push your elastic band through the hole that you've made so make your hole big enough to push it through easily um, my, my holes closed this holes closed up again so again push that through grab it pull it through the main hole and then there's your elastic band now if you don't have big elastic bands you have short ones you can always join them you, you know how you join elastic bands you just put the one through the other then you fold it through and you can make it longer like that so you don't so you can if your elastic bands aren't long enough you can always make them longer again keeping that um, horizontal there's the place that I cut out a little bit for my nose I'll put that there test it out yeah that goes around that ear that goes around the other ear there's my basic mask now we just need the filter so we take one of these what are they kitchen paper towels and you tear off a kitchen paper towel now we've got an endless supply of these We've got tiny little holes that are going to catch that nasty coronavirus. I would trust my life to a paper towel, wouldn't you? And now, starting from your nose side, you take a glue stick, right? I've got my glue stick, and you're going to glue, you're going to glue all the way around the top. And that is going to be to stick your paper towel to. So then you take your paper towel like that and you start pressing it down onto your glue. And on the other side I've done the same thing. So there it is glued on that side, that side, um, on the top, push it down, glue, 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 a bit more, and it's looking reasonably neat. So now I've got the top, the top is done. Now you start pushing this in as much paper as you can push in, pushing it in, pushing it in, pushing it in, right, without tearing it obviously you've got to be careful treat it with its paper treat it with a certain amount of respect nothing like the respect that you can show to paper and then glue the rest of it the other half so we're gluing 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 all the way around and pushing it down pushing it down pushing it down some more and um, glue some more and push it down some more and there we going so I've got a paper my paper on this side too sticking it and gluing it so there it's now more or less uh, stuck down with my glue stick so we got to check yes that's the nose side and then any extra paper you can just trim off so you want to look cool I mean it's the end of the world but you want to look cool while you're doing this you don't want ugly paper so we just trim off all the extra paper and um, your glue is going to take a, a bit of a time to dry so there's the glue I'm going to, any ends of the paper that are sticking up, I'm going to glue those down, glue some more. There. Right. So, now I've got my face mask. And find the nose again. Seems to fit pretty well. You can see this sucking in and out. Certainly seems to fit a lot tighter than those commercial face masks. It feels nice and comfortable. 
glue is still drying. But I feel that I've got a very handy face mask. So, if the coronavirus goes on for a long time, which it may, you know, it's a, it seems to be a, of the same family as colds and flu and those things mutate all the time. So we could get waves and waves of this coronavirus coming around. So you could, first of all, the best strategy is to isolate just a few people who've got it. But if that doesn't work, then you've got to, then it just gets out. And then it's like Italy, you've got to isolate area. You just got to, every city and school and, and business just kind of sh shuts down, which is not economically the greatest idea. Or... You know, if it keeps on going around and around in waves, because we just the first wave in China, we don't know what's going to happen when they loosen their restrictions on Wuhan and all the other places. You know, will it just, will the next round, the next mutation of this coronavirus just, or this COVID-19 virus, will it just again strike people who've had it? So you, the main thing is you want to make sure that you avoid getting the virus and the best way obviously is your hand washing for 20 seconds with good soap and then although sometimes the experts poo poo your face masks i say face masks they all wear it don't be a hypocrite tell us not to wear or bother about face masks because like you can't get all of them no they wear these face masks so we want to make sure that we either buy them or we make our own ones. Man, how easy was that? I'm sure that didn't take much longer. And if you get good at it, you can make it in five minutes. Look how cool we look. Homemade, do-it-yourself face mask. Nothing like trusting your life to your own homemade face mask. I mean, these commercial things, they're not much to write home about. So... If it's going to be around for a long time, hey man, you can make an unlimited number of cheap face masks.